Hi, I'm Michael Simpson, co-founder and CEO of Parent, and welcome to our first video blog. First, I want to start with, uh, before we get into a whole bunch of details about science and using it for hiring and student development and employee development, I, I want to answer a question that I'm asked countless times every single week is, how did you get into this business and um, why are you doing this? And it, it started a long time ago. It actually started, and I'm not going to take it too far back, but in my in my childhood, I grew up in a really dysfunctional family. My father had PTSD, and there was a lot of abuse in my family. There was multiple divorces, multiple bankruptcies. We grew up without much money, and 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 I grew up this really incredibly angry uh, kid into an angry adult, and I really had no possibilities in the future. I had to drop out of college. It was a community college. I dropped out of after a very short time so my brother could afford to go to school. He knew what he wanted to do. I didn't know. I was working in bars, running sound for bands, and uh, I just left and went on tour. And honestly, I, I really had no idea what to do with my future. I didn't have the academics because really my life was stealing all of my energy uh, and focus and motivation. Um, and so I just did see a point of performing in school like a lot of kids. And that could have defined my future. Uh, my anger, my uh, family life, my socioeconomic class, my lack of education could have defined my future. But the reality is I ended up being an executive in a you know, you know, fast-growing startup company. I, I ran a billion-dollar product in another company, and now I run my own company. And the the key to what changed me is why Parent exists. I had some people that saw more possibility in me than I could see for myself. We tend to look at our opportunities through the lens of our environment and our history and just what is within our you know closest proximity which is the people that are around us and our circumstances but these people saw more inside of me and they eventually convinced me that I had more potential I see teachers do this all the time my parents were teachers my wife's parents were teachers my business partner's wife is a teacher and and really what was a what was fascinating is that um, my mother never came home and said, oh, guess what I did today? I raised test scores. She would come home and say, let me tell you who came by my office today. The student I taught 10 years ago who wanted to share their success with me and, and say that I inspired them. And that's why teachers teach. And, and for, you know, the most part, we don't give them credit for why they teach. We only give them credit and judge them based on what they teach, how good are their students' test scores, not how well are they changing lives. But as long as we take that away from teachers and we don't validate that, um, they're not going to take the time, as much time as possible, to invest in changing lives. And if people hadn't invested in my life, I, I don't know where I'd be. When I was in the software industry, we were doing a bunch of mergers and acquisitions, and I went to our executive team, and I said, you guys keep solving math problems, but these are people problems. And these acquisitions, these hundreds of millions of dollars that you're spending, uh, you're losing in these math problems. Because when you bring people in the organization, you're not putting them in the right teams, you're not dealing with their mindsets, their motivations, their attitudes, and so, uh, it was shortly before I left that company, they put me in charge of the human aspects of mergers and acquisitions. And that was in the 90s. And, and, and I began to get a, a sense of there is a need in corporations as well as in schools for the same thing that happened to me, for people to be able to see beyond your academic test scores, beyond your GPA, beyond your resume, and see you for your possibilities. And after spending six years in Russia and 12 years as an executive coach, uh, I learned that these things are teachable. They are coachable. People change. Most of the time, the reason why they don't change 
is because no one told them that they could. If you have the right tools, which is what we're trying to provide, you can see where someone might want to change. You can inspire them to make that change. And you can help accelerate that personal development, that professional development, that are the keys to helping them be successful in not just their work life, but their ability to learn and in their personal lives. And I wanna to speak to every employer out there. And if you're not concerned about the development of your staff and helping them become better people, you're not building any loyalty. They're just gonna jump from job to job to job based on who happens to reward them the most. But when people feel that you care about them as human beings, that you give them the tools to develop themselves, you give them the coaching to develop, and you hire people that are a good fit for the team, which you can all do with science, you're gonna keep them a long time. So again, welcome to our first vlog. We're gonna be talking about a lot of things and uh, I hope you stay tuned.